Hello there watchy people, how's it going? Welcome back to the Rags of Riches series on Farming Sim 22. Uh, we have got some bailing to do uh, to help save up for our new field, which we're going to hopefully buy at some point, field 24. Um, but before we get started, in fact, I'll, I'll get um, I'll get going while we're doing this and I'll, I'll talk to you while we start it. But... Um, but yes, in the last video, I had a comment from Renz1794. Uh, I'm assuming that's the year that they were born, so... What does that make? 17, 18, 19, 20... So yeah, it's about 300 and something years old. Something like that. Um, you can do the maths. I'm thinking about too many things at once at the moment. I'm probably 100 years out, I think. Anyway, doesn't matter. Very old person commented on my video and said... Um, that they saw me struggling with the header. Uh, need to unfold it first. Unfold it. Um, yeah, saw me struggling with the header through the gateways and stuff, and made a very good suggestion that um, we install a mod called the Crisoni header mod. So, if we oh, forains. What's forains? Oh, that's the. Okay, cool. <laughs> I wonder what that was then. Um, does it come under? Yes, it does come under this. So I've installed the Crisoni header pack, which uh, we've got a lot of other headers in here as well. Here you go, Crisoni. So these are folding headers. Apparently, yeah, there you go. They they fold up, um, so you can get through gateways and stuff much easier without having to tow. Um, they are, however, very expensive. So. Um, Oh nice and you can you can put them in like any brand that's cool. Um anyway, so yeah, that's an option for the future. They're quite expensive, so we can't afford them just yet. But thank you very much for the suggestion and uh thank you very much. Well, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for the suggestion. I have installed it. So, um next time well, not next time, but when we when we've started actually earning some serious money, we will then um, have a look at buying one of them because that's quite quite cool. Um, maybe we'll even go for a really big one. See how much it folds up and how much easier it is to cart around. Uh, but for now, we have some bailing to do. So let us bail. Uh, I will do a hyperlapse and I will see you guys on the other side. Oh, by the way, guys, don't forget to uh, put in your guess as to how many bales it's going to make. It's the same area we've done before, so you should be able to guess pretty <laughs> accurately. Um, but yeah, last time I forgot, and uh, I think it was William guessed anyway, even though I, f I didn't ask. So, uh <laughs> so yeah. And the bailing is done. So eject that last one, fold up, and we'll go and put our baler away. Right. Oh yeah, chop one in the road there. That's interesting. Didn't even notice that happen. Okay, let's get this thing back in the shed and then we'll pick up the trailer. Oh we've got eggs. Uh do we need to sell them now? Uh, I guess we probably do. Uh, oh. 
looking forward to getting at least one more shed so we can um, we can get you know not have to put our tools like too deep in there okay um, is it egg selling time let's have a look at time saving stock check <clears throat> November yes it is okay so we should yeah go sell those eggs oh hang on tag place there we go Bally Spring in uh, let's grab that oh oh dear did not get that right at all will I get it right Definitely not. Okay, I'm going to have to go away and come back again. <laughs> wow. There we go. Right. Let's, uh... Got two pallets of eggs. With any luck, there might be something else waiting down there. I don't think there is, though. I think we picked everything up, didn't we? Uh... Oh, no, there is. There's more. Fantastic. When did that happen? All right. Shift... Ah, oh, lovely. Um, I can also set it to full only. Uh, shift. Ah, oh, there we go. We'll take. Might as well take all of it. <clears throat> and then we will head off. I did tag the place. Oh, flipping neck. Go on in. Right, we're going that way. There we go. I'll even indicate. I don't know if indicating makes any difference whatsoever to the traffic, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that it doesn't. However, oh my word, we've got one, two, three, four. Oh, didn't indicate, and I didn't slow down so One, two, three, four, five, six, six and a bit pallets of eggs. That's uh, that's going to be quite a bit of income, isn't it? <clears throat> forgot what it said on the time saving shop checks it was 30 something thousand wasn't it 35,773 uh, I also didn't check whether that was the current sale price or maximum sale price but either way <clears throat> now is the time to sell the the prices are going down so we do want to uh, make sure we get the best ones oops I uh, I noticed when I was bailing then that the time was on one, not on three. I wonder if I wonder if I did that last time to stop it, to stop the price going down. I doubt I would have uh, been clever enough to do that. But no matter, we're going to get a chunk of change from this. So all is good. Go on, what are we going to get? 35,760. I'll take that all day long. That's very good. Right, let's go pick up some bales. So I have managed to enable the auto bale mode. We'll drive in this gate. Oops. I'm not good at watching where... Oh, watching where A, I'm going, B, where anything else is going just rushing through this so this should now pick up on its own oh look at that I don't have to actually do anything lazy mode enable I do love it there we go there we go and then we're gonna have to well not have to but we probably will enable um, go and pick up well done uh, super strength mode to load this into the wrapper maybe I should do that with the uh, with the correct implement. Oh look, we're going to get an exact full trailer. We are from that field. Beautiful, beautiful. You love to see it. Uh, so let's go here. And what's the unload? It's Shift and I, isn't it? Unloading side. Do I have to turn that off first? I do. Unload is shift and I. Uh, side is right. So let's change it to left. There we go. Right, now that that is done, I will do control shift and R to turn that back on again. 
and then we can pick up the rest of these. Beauty! And then we'll get these wrapped and started fermenting for maximum income. Right, is that all of the bales? Have I got everything? I think I've got everything. So control shift and R to turn it off. And then let's go here. Shift and I. Lovely. Right. And then I'll pop the trailer over here, I think. When is a good time for the lettuce and stuff? February, yeah, it's, it's February for all three of those, so that's fine. We don't have to do anything with them for quite some time. So we'll uh, disconnect that and head back over here. Uh, and in fact, what I'll probably do is just park this here for now and I'll jump in the other tractor. There we go. It's nice to use this one. I think maybe I'll start by doing the uh, loading myself. I think that would be uh, a good way to do it. Tell you what, let's go all the way around and do it the opposite way, shall we? Oh, hang on, there's a shed there. Don't drive into the shed. Actually, there was nothing in that front bay, so I would have been fine. Uh, so, this is going to go away from me, so I guess I should probably start here. Like this, shouldn't I? So we'll drop that. Uh, we'll jump into it briefly. Uh, how do I do this? Start like that, unfold, turn the engine off again, jump out, and then we'll get back in here. Lovely. Okay. So, oh, and I've actually now stacked these. Yeah, I've basically done this all kinds of wrong, but it doesn't matter. We'll widen our forks out a little bit. And we do still need to do one at a time, really. So, let's get you and pop you in here. Lovely. Right, lift it up a little. Grab you. Cool. Right, I think I'll do another time lapse while I'm doing this. Hyperlapse, sorry. Uh, and then you guys don't have to watch me failing repeatedly. I think that's the best way to do this. Now we have a big sausage of silage all in the way. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Um, I think, is it? No, it's that one. No, that one. Uh, oh, I don't know. Do I have to start the engine first? There we are. It's not, not the combination that I press. There we go. Let's go back to that map. Perfect. Right. Now we can fold up. And we can put this uh, trailer away. Uh, however, <laughs> oh, I love driving this little thing. It's completely not good for being uh, driven. It should always be towed, but it's still fun nevertheless. Oh, is that, are those poles not? Wow, those poles don't have collision. I never knew that. No wonder I've not been having trouble with this. Right, turn you off, out you get, and there we go. So we now have a whole load of uh, 
silage fermenting. That is 0%. So that's going to take a while. Um, the next thing to do then is to fertilise these, which is going to take no time at all with our new fertiliser. So let's go find that. Backing up. I don't know how much fertiliser we've got. I think we bought a load, didn't we? We've got plenty on there. So we'll get our thing up to make sure we're on full width. And then... Is it... No. No, it's not that. I did that last time. There we go, it's that one. Right. So we are now full width on this. So let's see how much of it we can do, because I can't remember how, how much of it gets done with this. I think it's... I think that's asking a bit much, actually. I think it needs to be about here. Let's try this. Right. No, I don't think we've covered everything there. Oh, I'm changing gear accidentally. Right, I should have started on this side, I think. I can definitely cover all of that. There we go. So, if we zoom... Oh, what happened there? I must have pressed one of the side buttons. If we zoom out, we can get a much better idea of what's going on. So, here we go, and... That should get everything there. Lovely. And then if we drive around the front, we should be able to see what hasn't been done on the other side now. Yeah, it's only a narrow strip, so if we do that... And away we go, and turn it on. Lovely. That should be perfect. There we are. And now we can set it back to full again and head over onto the other field. Beautiful. Okay, and then straight down the middle here. Excellent, and yeah, it doesn't quite go full width, does it? So I'm going to have to do two narrow runs down either side. I have to remember that for next time. Uh, I did it last time, I know, but I, I couldn't remember. I'll do my best to remember this time. So we can spin round there, turn you off, and then go down to two for this little bit. Lovely. And then down to one... Oh, that was too much. Down to one for this bit, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh, blimey. <laughs> Making a mess of this. So at least we're not wasting too much. And then one little run to do on the other side, the same width. And we will be all good. Right, around this way. Stop there. A couple of little patches that aren't done, but that's not gonna uh, it's not gonna be worth the time worrying about those. The majority of the grass is fine. And then hopefully, within probably the next year, I would say, um, we will be turning this into an arable field. I think that's the plan anyway. Once we got that other field... Oh, turn off. Back her up. There we go. Sorted. Right. Zoom in a bit more. 
put that menu away now. In fact, actually, before I do that, let's there we go, set it back to full width so that next time I use it, I don't... Oh! I don't uh, accidentally leave it narrow and not do what I'm intending to do. Cool. Okay, let's park this thing up then and then take stock because I don't think there's anything we can do now. Um, last time we did herbicide, didn't we, on the ar arable fields. I'm kind of wishing that I had tried uh, using the weeder before I did that because, I don't know, it may have pulled those weeds out. I think I jumped the gun a bit, but I, I'm pretty sure when they're full size you have to do herbicide. There's nothing else for it. But uh, in any case, let's have a look at the map. We have we don't have anything else to sell, do we? Oh look, price of eggs is going up again now. It's typical, isn't it? We've got 83 litres. <laughs> we'll leave that for now. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's anything else to do in November. So December we've got canola to sell. That's going to be good. Oh nice, that's uh, another 36 grand coming next month. That's uh, excellent news. And then January we've got... No, we're not selling grass. Not selling our hay. So it's February is the next thing. Um, on the map, what is the state of everything? Uh, all of our fields are growing. Uh, they're all fertilised. So yeah, there's literally nothing to do right now. Literally nothing to do. Uh, and we'll just check out again because I've forgotten what it is, the price of that field. 182,000. So we do have quite a way to go yet. So it may be another cut on these uh, before we get there. Uh, but what have we got? We've got, yeah. We'll be close to 100 next month with that. And then we, I can't remember how much we normally sell this for. But I think it's another like 30 grand or something. So we might need another couple of rounds of silage. Uh, of course, we'll have all of the vegetables. Let's go check out the vegetables quickly. And um, we we'll have to turn... Oh, I've not enabled it. Okay. Uh, turn super strength on. And uh, move these over here so that there's room for other stuff. This is our first ever crop of strawberries, look. Let me know in the comments, by the way, if my assumption was right about this. I, um, I, I set it to doing everything because um, you've got 672 cycles a month of um, tomatoes, 336 of lettuce, and 672 of strawberries. Now, if I have all three enabled, does that divide by, obviously, what it can fit in? Is does the, the greenhouse only do a certain number of cycles a month? Or, with all of them enabled, does it actually do all of them? Because it makes sense to be doing that all the time, if that's the, the case. So please do, if you know the answer to this, maybe do some testing. See how much you get in uh, a month. Maybe I could do it. See how much you get in a month by doing one, and then how much you get by doing all three. If... So if I did only tomatoes for a month, um, would I get the same amount of tomatoes as if I had all three enabled? I think it's the case that you do. So I think having them all enabled is worth it because it's it's obviously producing a ton more. Um, hopefully it is also, well not hopefully, but likely it's also using up more water, but that's fine. So there's loads in there for now. And we now have a bigger tanker for refilling it. Um, we got a little bit of wool off of the lambs. I think we had that last time as well. How are we doing for wool over here? Oh, this is filling up. This is good. We'll take these out of here and pop them in front so that there's space for it to spawn. Um, I suppose the other thing we could do is start um, thinking about buying the... Um, spinnery. Is there a spinnery on this map? I think we've looked before, haven't we? I can't remember what we found. Bally Spring Inn. I don't think there is one. That's the vehicle shop. Debris Crusher. Garage. Garage? Okay. Uh, spuds. Carpentry. Sawmill. 
farmhouse. Spinnery. Oh, there is a spinnery. It is a long way away, though. So we might have a, a quick look at that. Maybe we'll go check that out. In fact, can we visit? We can visit. So there is a spinnery here, but like I say, it's a long way off. Uh, can we... I think we can buy this, right? Uh, it goes to the F1 menu. Yeah, buy production point. So we can buy that. It doesn't say how much, though. Does it say if I press it? I'm worried it's just going to buy it. There you go, £60,000. So we can't afford that right now, but... Here it is anyway, and here is the path that goes into the bushes there. It's a bit of a way off the beaten track, but oh, this is uh, this is the where it keeps spawning me when I launch the map. When I load the map, I'm always spawning here. I didn't realise this is where it was. I just obviously tab away from it because I don't want to be there. But yeah, this is quite a long drive all the way down here. Although some of these fields are quite nice. There's a bit of flat ground on them. Hmm. This is, um, this raises a question. Is it better than the farm I've got? Like, I could have my farmyard up here. I've got all this storage then for equipment. And then this whole thing's floodlit as well. What does this bit of land cost? Oh. Oh, I technically already own it, I think. Because uh, I, I own the roads so that I'm able to uh, do um, landscaping on the edges of them. Interesting. Okay. So that's not technically ownable land. So we'd have to like come up with a price for that. But I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Um, there is field 100 and... Or, plot should I say. Uh, this is a big plot with trees and a farmyard on it with the blue farm. This blue farm is going to be a big place isn't it? What have you got in here? Lots of little huts that are kind of no use. Oh that's got an open end so you could use that actually. Is there an animal pen on this farm? I don't see one. There are lots of huts though. Yeah no animal pens. What's this building? Is this our farmhouse? I think that's supposed to be our farmhouse. Oh, and there's a lo another little bit on there. Can I open that? Yes, I can. Cool. Well, there are some options. Oh, and this goes down here. Back to the road again. Hmm. Anyway. Anyway, that's uh, some food for thought. But I think I'm going to stick with what I'm doing. I'd rather build my own one. Um, I do kind of like the idea of that spinnery though, but it kind of feels like the way we're going we should probably build it uh, back at our farm. So can we visit? We can visit that. Brilliant. Yeah, I think we ought to put our own spinnery in this, in this yard somewhere rather than buying that one. It's more on, uh, uh, on point with the, the way we're building so far. So anyway, that's going to do it for today. I will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate you guys as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>